So guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a responsive website. What I could do is make a whole series on how to make a responsive website. That will take quite a long time So and it will get kind of boring if I do a lot of videos. So I'm going to make one video and just showing you the fundamental features of what CSS gives you to make a responsive website and, and help you implement it to your current site or in the future sites you make. So here I've got my HTML page, I've linked my CSS file to it, I've got two paragraphs in a div, one called desktop message, one called mobile message, they each have a message that you can see here. Now this is going to display whether you're on a desktop, and this is going to, if you're on the desktop that will display, and if you're on a mobile phone that will display. Now, um, with CSS it's not going to check whether you're on a mobile phone, we can make if the width of the screen is less than something then it will apply. So those both have ID, IDs and the div has some styling and both messages have styling. One important uh, thing is that this has display none which will make it invisible for now. So to make it responsive this is what I look so far and that's just from before. Um, so right now it's gonna um, be a blank page just what, what what we did before but without the messages on so if we want to display it when it's a desktop we have to do this at media screen and so this is the code you'll need and in these parentheses is your condition to so max width 500 pixels now this is saying if the screen width is under 500 pixels then apply the styling which is here so we're going to add a mobile message to display block now nothing would happen because we're not under 500 pixels on the screen so we're now going to add the desktop one so we're going to copy that and you can, if you guessed it, get min width 500 pixels and then change this to desktop message. It should look something like this. And then if we refresh it, you can see you're on a desktop because it's more than 500 pixels. And now if we go down, it should say mobile. And now it says you're on a mobile phone because it is under 500 pixels and now it's more than so it says that now this can be implemented into a navigation bar whatever suits you whatever you want to do I'm just giving an example about changing the styling if you're using a navigation bar you can display the element elements instead of inline for a mobile you can do it in block um, block so it displays on each line each element so this is really useful and the last thing I want to show you is um, either you can go like this by moving the browser's window um, to different sizes or if you want to get a bit more advanced you if you're on Chrome you can click the options me um, on sorry on Firefox you click the options menu developer responsive design view and then you have this nice position where you can just move it like that and also you've got some other preset things and also you've got some other tools so this just took a picture and it saved it so it's got very cool tools and you just click the cross and yeah that's about it if you have any requests about this please put it in the comments down below please subscribe and if you have any suggestions for upcoming videos please do suggest them because I will consider it so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video